So my name is Ian McKinley, I'm 28 and I'm a professional rugby player living over in Italy. I always wanted to, to play rugby, I just remember growing up as a kid watching the Five Nations as it was at the time during the 90s and I've just been enthralled by the actual game. I was playing with Leinster and got my first cap when I was 19 so that would have been about seven, eight months after I had left school so things were, were going well and then unfortunately I got a, an injury to my, to my left eye where just a, a teammate stood on my eyeball and I perforated my eyeball. I had emergency surgery and um, I was able to get back about 70% of vision, but my retina detached and uh, unfortunately I had to make a decision at the age of 21 to, to stop playing. And I was left as a 21 year old with uh, you know, a half, half done education and my sporting dream taken away from me. I was working here in Dublin uh, just looking for any sort of coaching roles. I just got a, a call from uh, an Irish person in Italy to say w would you like to come here and work as a, as a coach and I jumped at the opportunity so I went to a city called Udine. It was an experiment in some way but I, for me at the time of having retired uh, I just wanted to get out of Ireland, wanted a completely different uh, challenge. So I suppose when you're thrown into a situation uh, like going to a foreign country, for me you just have to throw yourself into the deep end, be prepared to make mistakes, be prepared to be laughed at. Uh, you just sort of brush that aside. I mean, the amount of errors that I continue to make, the amount of errors that I made at the start, I look back now and go, they're, they're terrible, but that's how you learn. You never forget from those, uh, from those moments. And we have to uh, get by you when you go to post office, when you go to the supermarket, when you go to dentist hospitals, you need to be able to, to speak it. Primo, come ti chiami? Alfredo. Alfredo, di dove sei? I'm a Bruxelles, I'm a Zano. Ah, okay. My stato. My stato. No, you. I heard that there was an idea developing with protective rugby goggles. Got the f first pair in 2014. Um, was uh, went stepped onto the field. So three years after I initially retired, just luckily enough, I got signed by Benetton Treviso, who are, you know, one of the two professional teams in Italy. And uh, I've been there for two years. I've had two really successful seasons. I just got recently capped in November to. Uh, playing for Italy uh, against Fiji, Argentina and South Africa. If you're the, the quarterback as it were, you're the out half, you have to organise, you have to talk with, with everyone around you. So if you're speaking in English, it doesn't really work. There's a few key words, there's a few you know, general words that are the same in English and Italian, but generally you have to be the one, you have to direct everyone and, and speak in Italian. Uh, in Udine, the, there was not too many people that spoke English, so you were always in contact with people. You you always had to had to speak. You always had to get your message across. It took about a year, like a year of, of a lot of frustration. Uh, but after about a year, just words started flowing a lot more. If you pursue a different language, it definitely can can uh, open up avenues for you and. Uh, you know, just give you options. I think that's the most important thing in this world at the moment is to have options and uh, you know you can pursue whatever you want to pursue, whether that is music, sport, drama. So yeah, it's used every day and uh, like it's given me confidence to possibly learn another language. For me, it's a, it's a really beautiful language and uh, you know it's, it's given me a huge amount of confidence just knowing that I can learn that considering in school I wasn't that strong. So um, it's, it's given me a 